All right, and we're back. Nocturnal Dark here with a brand new deck just for you and your sweet, sweet head. And this one is Dance of the Omens. And watch out, they're coming for you. Okay, so we're trying to win today with a Dance of the Mants, bringing back a volume of our enchantments and getting us stupid value of triggers. So it's designed around Consolation, and Consolation reads whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield, it triggers. So this is going to have the ability to bring back four to six enchantments all in one hit, and then that's going to trigger a champion six times or an Archon six times or a Eutropia six times, and as you can see, six triggers of these is just pretty much game winning. If you're getting six two two Pegasus flyers with lifelink, they're generally gonna scoop unless they have sweepers, you know? So the dance bringing back things that trigger anyway and then triggering these really is busted. And the idea is we can do this on turn four, bringing back two omens or two birth of metalysis or two daxos. It can target creatures as well as long as it's a non-aura. But if we do it on turn four, we're still potentially getting two one ones, two card draws plus the ETBs or two flyers. So you can be flexible as you need, but the ideal casting space is turn six and turn seven. And turn seven works really well with an Elspeth because uh, Elspeth conquers death because basically we're going to be dropping this turn five which is going to just get rid of whatever three or greater thing that they have we don't want around. And then the second phase on turn six means that they are having a sluggish turn. They have to, if they want to cast a five drop, it's going to cost them seven. So that really slows them down. And then the turn seven, we're going to return a creature. So it's going to be a Sun's Grace or a Champion because they're definite targets straight to the battlefield and then this will be in the graveyard ready for a Dance of the Mance. So turn seven at the start of our turn we are going to get a creature onto the battlefield and then we're going to Dance of the Mance for seven and we're going to be able to, uh, for five sorry, we're going to pay five and that's going to be able to target this straight away, bring it straight back to the battlefield triggering whatever we brought back with it and also getting rid of another three or greater permanent. So, and also if we do that on turn seven, the entire deck can be targeted, obviously minus the creatures. So dance on turn seven is a game winning turn and to get to turn seven is quite easy. It's very cruisy with this deck. Our zero four um, walls can just keep us in the game. Our one ones, just all chump blockers that just throw in front of, throw under the bus. And if they put anything down with Tramp or anything that's causing us grief, we've got our Banishing Light and our Conclave Tribunal to just be able to m remove. And the Conclave Tribunal is almost better than the Banishing Light, I almost say it is. Mainly because we're going to have a 0-4 and then we're going to have two one ones. So you can almost you guarantee you'll be casting this for one most of the game. And it's going to trigger and trigger and just take away whatever they're relying on. Our enigmatic incarnation is going to be able to target things like our all seed to be able to fetch up our daxos it can target our creatures but it can also if we have omen of the sea turn two omen of the sun turn three and then incarnation turn four we can either target the omen of the sea to dig up a champion or omen of the sun to dig up a archon of sun's grace so this can really mean play the creatures from our deck for free for, for no cost and that leaves our mana open for you know our enchantment shenanigans and it works quite beautiful Eutropia of the twice favored is worth of an honorable mention mainly because if the consolation so if we're going to be bringing back for you know four omens of the sea then it's going to put four one one counters on a target creature giving it flying and if that if that target creature was a citizen champion we're putting 10 counters or 8 counters on it giving it flying so you can see how they work really good with the dance of the mance uh, combination um kiora best the sea god is in here mainly because we don't have any big guys he can grow but he's a big target he's a huge target we are creating creatures and going wide but that's only just for chip damage 
because if we can drop this it's a huge threat that's an 8 8 hex proof and then the second phase of the um, saga is tap everything they have so we're going to be able to get the 8 through so that can finish the game for us and really just put the pressure on for them you know so that's that's the idea of having that in the deck um, but that's pretty much the cheese of it the idyllic idyllic tutor is in for obvious reasons we can go and get a incarnation but mainly you can just go and get removal when you need it this is beautiful to have in hand on turn six you can just go okay well i want to get rid of that so you know cast this and dig up one of these and then you, you're just removing all day it's amazing really quite amazing our all seed of life bounty can protect the entire deck um, you just pay one sacrifice him and he can give a creature or enchantment protection from color of our choice so we can protect our champion we can protect our son's grace and we can protect our enigmatic incarnation and our elspeth so basically if you have more copies run more copies and same with these guys i would run four of these four four of these and four of these if i could you could probably drop out daxos he is he is quite valuable the idea of having him in the deck is that he's an enchantment creature on his own so he's going to trigger as he comes in he can be a target for an incarnation or a dance of the manse to be able to dig up a citizen champion so that's also another bonus but the other main reason i have him in here the only real reason i have him in here is because if we are bringing back four or eight you'll be surprised four let's just run with four you know enchantments and getting four um, Pegasus tokens then we're getting four life and then when we throw the one ones under the bus or the zero fours just for blockers we're getting life so he can just help us you know use our life total as a resource so we can make it to turn four or five and comfortably know that we're going to just get a lot of life back fill our board and the opponent doesn't see it coming the best part about this deck is the way that it gets in your opponent's head and what I mean by that is we don't pose much of a threat by turn one two three we're really just like putting out one ones and zero fours and playing omens drawing cards and you know they don't really see much threat so they swing in they become a bit careless with just dumping things down and then by turn four when we drop a incarnation and start digging up our champions and then dropping a OC bounty and triggering it drawing into our deck they start to panic and then by turn five it's too late we've generally got super value even if you just get one trigger from a champion one trigger from a son's grace you're going to be able to get it back there's going to be quite the volume sorry about the traffic it's going to be quite a volume of ways that we're going to just stay in the game and let them remove it if we do a banishing light or a tribunal and then they you know destroy target enchantment or you know negate it then we're not overly worried because we're going to dance with the mans and bring it back later in the game so we we do feel pretty comfortable all the way up to turn four and then from turn four we put our game face on so that's the idea of the deck uh enough chin flapping from me let's get into some games but before don't forget to like subscribe and follow and hit me up in the comments if you run four of the sun's grace and tell me how it goes because i really want to know if that's going to make this deck just move even quicker because that's the main card i'm going digging for but yeah, I'm really interested to hear back from you guys. And if there's a deck that you want to see or a card you want to build around, 100% let me know. But enough chin flapping from me. Let's get into some games. I'm going to keep this. We've got Daxos turn 2, turn 3, turn 4. Potentially this on turn 3 instead. Okay, we didn't want to see that yet, jeez. Might as well get a body down. Seeing as he hasn't. And if we get to keep him. Okay. Um I'll just take his Torn of Hope. 
stop his train. So you get his damage in here. Yep, that's fine. That's pretty good for us. Get you two. Yeah, just go for it, buddy. Go for it, buddy, old pal. So now he has to pay for that. I wish I had a removal piece for him. Um... And pay two. I'm just going to get this guy down. I want to pose a threat. And... I'll attack him. So now he's going to swing, make his dude indestructible and get two guys and a card draw but he'll be pinging himself yeah so that's fine so if you want that okay he wasn't gonna die I see I see buddy okay so let's go one of those we got some jambage Okay, so we're sort of locked and loaded here. And I'm going to swing in. These two. Yep. And then N10. Okay, so he's only got three land still. He's been missing his land drops, which really sucks. I feel for the guy. And he's doing quite a lot of legwork, but I'm not sure if you can see the writing on the wall just yet. Oh, okay. He thinks I might have had a counter spell, maybe. Yep, buffage. Do we need that land? We don't need that dance. That's for sure. Okay, so we'll take the other one. Take the land. Ooh. We need an incarnation. Okay. So he's got a death toucher. I think we just pass. Sure. So what are you going to do here? Nothing. Card draw. Get some life. Oh, now that is pretty nice. Let's have a little look. Finally. Amazing. That's what we wanted. Okay, so another card draw. Yep. Pay two life. And turn. No, attack sinks. Yeah, we'll end the turn. Booyah.
Okay, so... I don't think he likes what's going on. Like, at all. <laughs> Yeah, that all happened in your turn. Unbelievable. One, two, three. Okay, let's just take that guy. Thank you. Now, are we ready to show him that we win yet? Because I can really do it. One, two, three. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, because we don't get to target anything like that. Okay, so that's cool. And we shall swing, swing, and turn, go for this guy, get another Daxos, now he's locked and loaded ready, we get a bunch of triggers. Thank you. Okay, so that cost us no mana. Still got four mana up. This guy's like, what is going on? <laughs> sure. Okay, so you're gonna swing in. Yeah, I think he's gonna scoop here. He's so over it. I'm getting this crazy value town. Okay, so we don't need those two. Now we're talking. And yeah, we'll go my turn, I think. I think that's pretty good. Pay the two life, please. Sure. And then we're going to go this and a dance. Ow, he's going to cry. He's going to cry real bad. So we're going for one, two, one, two, three, four. Is that right? One, two, three, four. Now watch this. Watch the volume of triggers that we're going to get here. Four one one counters. And then punch a life. Bunch of those dudes. This is insane, man. And we're still gonna get a trigger at the end of our turn. If if there is an end of our turn. So I think he's enjoying watching my deck. He hasn't scooped yet. Yeah, we need that. And then, draw, buff, draw, buff, draw, buff. <laughs> oh man. All that back. Oh my god. 
And another Pegasus. And another buff. And another card draw. Okay, so I think we're ready to swing in. <laughs> oh, this is such a perfect example of the deck. Good game, man. Thanks for sticking around. Wow, I think he's going to build this deck. 100%. Well, that was a good first game. Let's get on to some more. Okay. We'll go for a scry first. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, we don't need... I need that land as yet. Cool. Okay, so... Next turn is going to be... Nothing. Okay. Just a life gain for us. That's fan. That's fan. Depends what he puts down. Okay. Okay. And enter. I'm going to put down a land and a one drop and then pay for this trigger. Yeah. So I think you played around me having a counter spell. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. No worries. Get that out of his hand. That's actually really nice. Hmm. One more land and we're pretty smoking. Yeah, I think we have to. We just have to do that again. I don't want to just put him out as a sitting duck. So he can't pay for the sacrifice here. Yep, no worries. Go for your attack. We are not worried about our life at this point. We will go for the double block though. For sure. For sure, the double block. Nice. Didn't have any buff or answer. I don't think he's liking knowing that I could flash in a an omen, or if I got a counter spell, I think it's wigging him out a bit. Which is fantastic news for us. Okay, so we're gonna go for, I guess. I guess. I think we'll go for a, anything but a white in case we get the ocean enchantment. Okay, so this time we can go for our dude and pass. So if he's got like three damage, we're stoked. That's three damage to target creature. Oh, I see. If only I had an, an <laughs> one one left. Okay, okay. I don't want to tap land, thank you. Sure. So I'm going to I'm going to punish him for doing that. I'm going to take away what we're doing, then I'm going to take away what you're doing. Yep. I'll just take that. Thank you.
And I might as well get another land for next turn. And then get a, a wall blocker. That's going to be handy. Nice. We cleaned up the board nicely there. Pulled well in front on land. And have cleared his whole board. I mean, we've got less cards, but that's going to change pretty soon. I really need the uh, incarnation or an idyllic tutor. Okay. That's not the best for us. That is not the best for us. Okay. And I'm going to pass turn there. I prefer to sort of get value in case he removes it rather than just get it straight away and be tapped out. Okay, so he's got any damage to that, it's going to die, yep. Yeah. Except we're going to get a blocker out of the deal. Cool, so now we get to... oh yeah. Oh yeah. Except we don't have many things in here, do we? So we're going to have to start with our... Sacrificing. We really, really need a... Thingy. Oh, he took it. I see. Cool. Oh, he's Menace. Yep, sweet as. No worries. Now, do you have a sacrifice? Sacrifice target creature? Like fling or something? You do not! Oh my god! So this is pretty nice. Or do we start sacrificing these? I think we just need this, don't we? We need him to be like, oh yuck. He's got ways around it, but make me sacrifice it. Cool. That's nice. Some life, please. Yeah, well, I'm going to get 8 damage next turn if you can't do something. Are you going to scoop now? Okay. He doesn't have a life link. Sure. No blocks. No worries, mate. Oh, do you have an oven? You do not. So we're just going to tap all of your stuff for a whole turn. And we're going to swing in, I think. 8, 10, 13, 14, 15 damage. Okay, if that's how you want to do it. No and no. No. No, no. Yep, that's fine. Still gonna have dudes tapped, brother. Yeah, they don't untap, man. 
What are you going to do now? I'm going to take your uh, spit it. Hmm. Kind of got you cornered. Mr. Aggressive. Trying to be real quick and sly with stealing my life. Yes. You can take one of my guys and sacrifice it. Um, I think we could take his oven. That's probably the best move. But taking his... Force him to use it now. Yep. So now he can't use his cut as a blocker. Sweet. Oh, he's got no cards in hand. Alright. So he's going to get three life back. So he's going to be on one. Mm-hmm. Sure. Two. It's going to be on two. And then we're going to, like, show him that we win the game by doing this. Cool. Card draw. Still no incarnation. So we just went super wide. Yep. <laughs> Love it. So we're going to mulligan that. Definitely want to start with three lands. So one of those should be fine. No, 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 no. This one, please. Next turn, we get a double scry draw. Okay, let's have a little look. No. I don't want to get rid of all the omens, though. The other one probably would have been better to keep. Let me get this down. So hopefully he swings and buffs. Mm, okay, nice. So reveals a hand, a non-creature, okay, so in that case, hmm, no we do want that. But we don't want to draw it. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, you can't pick any of them. Sorry, buddy. Mm. There's exile in my graveyard, which is just one, so that's not bad. And he's going to buff here. OK. 
Okay, so. I'm still going for a scry. No, we got enough land. I'm sure he's got an answer, but I feel like this is better than. Like, getting him to answer this is probably better than taking another four or five. No blocks, even though he's gonna buff. He didn't buff. He's gonna kill the. So that's what I mean. He had to choose between the buff or killing my guy. Okay. So now he's gonna have to answer it. No answer. Sure. So now we'll go and get our enigmatic incarnation and we'll have a scry. No more land. And then we shall attack. Now he kills him. I would have done that well before I got my blocker. So depending on what we draw, this is going to fetch us some our dude, the combo, our champion. Okay, so he doesn't have any targets. Don't have much mana either, which is good for us. Very good for us. Okay. Let's get another one down. Why not? Go and fetch that last land. And then we'll bust this one for this one. The second wall coming. So, wonder what options he has now. He's got access to be able to just destroy the champion. We can go and get another one though. Okay, so that wasn't. Probably the best call. Mm hmm. Didn't, didn't think so, buddy. Yeah, we'll go for a scry. Look at all of this land. Unbelievable. No attacks. So now we need the uh, dance. Thank you. Wow. Okay, so now let's go for three. Design. Sure. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now we can put down our passage. Oh no, we don't have... That was a 
misplay. So you're gonna swap here, buddy? I'm offering you a trade. No. Okay, so... Can't go and get a white. Stupid misplay by me. And turn, we'll go for a scry here. Go and get another one. You can see the engine working for sure. Next turn is going to be super punishing for him. Yep. No worries. Pass to attackers. He's getting worried, you can tell. Mm hmm. So I'll take two. No worries. Set up our graveyard. No. Probably gonna get rid of the tribunal as well, but this is where he's gonna cry, I think. Okay, so I think we get rid of him. Okay, so get rid of that. He's in pain town now. All we need is a dance and we're good. Just took away all of his options. He's got three cards, we got a full grip. We're discarding cards actually. Okay, so you're gonna make double, yes. But you're going to hate my tribunal turn, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Going for a scry. Get our green down. No. Next turn we can go in for another land fetch. Sure. Cool. So he's got this turn to do whatever damage he's going to do. And then I've got a full blocker. Zero four blocker do. Put something good down, man, so I can banishing light it. Yes. Okay. So, a wall it is. And I'm going to pass turn. So I wish I had an omen right now, but anyway. Sure. And then next turn we're going to put down... Ooh, 
god. The flyer. Okay, so if he can survive, then next turn's pretty solid for us. One, two, three, one, two, no. Still, I can't do both of them. Okay. No worries. Now he's got a... Come on, let's attack. Sure. So I'm just going to banish him like that and punish him for that. And there you go, buddy. Stop with the nonsense, please. Okay. That's annoying. Very much an annoying. Hmm. Okay. I don't really have much choice here. So next turn I'm going to go for a dance. Yep. So one, two, three. We'll get a bunch of triggers here and take that guy away. Decline, we don't have any. And then we'll get some card draw and attack. I feel like he's got an answer here. He's dangerously close to dying. That's why I attacked with him. So I'll take two damage here. No, maybe not. So we've got our blockers out now. That's fucking good. Um, so the two life we kind of need. Yeah. Okay, so I think we could Vanishing Light at the Tribunal. And then Fast Turn. Seems to have quite the loaded deck for answers. Okay, so now... Still not gonna save him. That's okay. Got a little bit more value. So there's another two life. Back to nine. Okay, so. Let me put this down. And we'll put this down. No attacks. What? Where is our guy? 
Anyway, that's fine. Where's our... Oh, he's in the graveyard. What am I doing? Sure. Okay. I will bust this. Can I get a green? Let's go and have a look here. Oh, I think we should get the, the big one. That's Elspeth. Okay, and then I'll put this down. Okay. And turn. And we shall decline that. Now we will have a little look-see. So we want a manse. Okay, so that's pretty good. Yeah. So he's only got Daxos under there, that's fine. Man, he done well to get me down to where I was. So this is our turning point in the game. So do we get Daxos back, or do we just get rid of him? I think we just get rid of him. Daxos is fine. Okay. And still, Daxos is fine. <laughs> yeah, he thought he had me. He didn't have me.